Oh my goodness, look what Alex just found out of the soft goods. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the bins, the Goodwill Outlet bins. It has been over a week since I've been here because I went to the Watch Here Flea Market with my mom for three days in a row and we got so much treasures. So I'm going to be a little bit picky because, because I got all this stuff at the flea market. So much stuff. And it just keeps going and going and going and going and going. And this will all be for sale at a live sale coming to you. You see why now. <laughs> so I have a lot of stuff to sell, um, but I thought, why not come up to the bins? It's kind of a rainy, crappy day. <laughs> I And it's been over a week since I've been here, so let's go and see what we can find today. All right, let's go. Let's go. And of course, I don't see any cards, which sucks. I hate the way everything's changed in here. Okay, I am going to start down here with the glass, like always. Oh, I am so bummed at myself because I forgot to measure the picture that I got at the flea market. Um, so I could find a frame for it up here. But I'm being super picky. Super, super picky. Look at all this tea set. Pretty. The whole set here in this one and then this one. Sorry, I just seen this cowboy. It's resin. It's kind of neat. It's, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, this is vintage. That's neat, too. I like the texture. this. This is not broken at all. That's a beautiful piece of glass. I'll take that. I will take that. That's pretty. Get that out, it's stuck in there. These are paper mache birds. 
They're all chipped up. It's a bummer. They're cute. They're all chipped. What is that? A glass top? It's like a perfume bottle. Oh, it sits on its side. It's a really pretty perfume bottle. I'll take that. I will take that perfume bottle. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Christmas, vintage Christmas ornament. Might have to go back to that band. Because I didn't really look in this one. I just passed all this silverware by. It's very lightweight. I wish I would have remembered to see what size. Wish I would have remembered to see what size. Um, that's brand new, never opened. Still staple shut. I wish I would have remembered to see what size the picture was. Trinket dish down here. But I don't want that one to be plain. That's cute and it's box. Probably from like the 90s. But I don't know. Halloween's almost over. Alright, let's go move on to the hard goods. Alright, on to the hard. This was the newest one that they brought out, I guess. That's a pretty tree topper, but it's just metal. It's just a little too plain for me. These cards. Yes, cards. This is creepy. Ah. It's a cute vintage vinyl bag. It's adorable. Bag of stamps. I don't really do stamps. Vintage fan. And a thermos. Okay, so I'm sitting here going through my cart like I always do, waiting for new bins to come out. And I am going to put, this bag is super cute, very vintage, but it is in rough shape. It's taped right there, so it's gonna go back. 
unfortunately. So I'm gonna look really, really good in this bin because look what I just found. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna look really, really good in this bin. Cause it looks like it's got some craft stuff in it. Um, this in my bag here so I don't lose it. This is in the treasure bag. Oh, he's cute. He'll go into a Christmas grab bag. There's so much stuff. I want to see if I can find any more of those pixies. Mouse nativity set ornaments. Some cake topper balloons. Vintage cake toppers. This book is so neat. It's like really thick and heavy. I'm not gonna get it. But it's got some really cute um, like pictures in it. That's so cool. I mean, it's really neat. I like it. I think it's a neat book. But it's like extremely heavy, probably over 10 pounds. They're taking away the new bins, or psh, taking away the old bins, gonna bring out new ones. I haven't even been here that long, and I'm already scrambling my words. We're waiting for one more, and then they're gonna say go. Maybe. But I'm really not seeing a whole lot in here. I have that bird. I have that wood bird. The wood bird. Oh, the bird. Yeah. I got a wood bird. Jim, I think that might be copper. I'm giving all the copper to Jim. Jim likes the copper. Well, they're taking away the glass tables now. I didn't even get a chance to look in the other tables. Can I grab something? Can I grab that pumpkin bowl? Yes, thank you. That is adorable. That'd be so cute with candy corns. Oh, it's chipped. It's chipped, so it's gonna go back. Dang it. 
Oh my goodness, these glass bins are freaking packed full, guys. Packed, packed full. Oh, oh that ladybug. I'm not feeling The prayer. Um, maybe. Kind of want the ladybug. Oh, Miss Peggy. Twelve days of Christmas. My true love gave to me. This. I know how much this weighs. I know how much that weighs. That's good, that's good packing paper. So I'm going to see how much it weighs before I buy it. Pick up sticks. This is one I've never seen before. I haven't seen a, phone, a toy phone like that. I'm not gonna get it because it's in rough shape, but and look at that. It's a Looney Tunes helmet, Tweety Bird helmet. And then this reminded me of my childhood. This is the box uh, that I had when I was a kid, the light bright box. Vintage. Here's a whole tea set for kids. There's so much stuff you can find here at the Goodwill bins. Plastic one. With God, all things are possible. I like that. That's going in a treasure bag. It's a magnet. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> he's one of my favorite characters off of Toy Story. Because he's so funny. And this movie is so funny. Such a good, good movie. It brings me back to my childhood days. There's a scarf. Seems to be new. Hundred percent silk, it says. Don't weigh anything. That'll go into a linen bag. Oh. Those are adorable. That's all embroidered. That's gonna go into a linen bag. What else is in here? What other treasures can we find today? Rudolph. Welcome. Hey, there was another one of these over there, but it was a different character. But it was different. Hmm. They're like brass. I don't like the wood block that they're on. Different. And that's cute too. Somebody made that. It's in rough shape though. Oh, this set is cute. These little framed, cruel, um, embroidered pictures. So I'm gonna pick up that set of three. Very lightweight, perfect for a gallery wall. Oh, 
Happy fall. It's kind of creepy. This is stinking cute and adorable. It's a little tiny wrapper purse made out of like magazines and wrappers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get that because I, I like it. I do. a rock with a whole bunch of fossils in it. Okay, they are taking away old bins and it is awfully crowded in here. Literally, I just turned around. I put my card up where you're supposed to put your cards and I turn around and there's people blocking me. Craziness. It's madness, I tell you, it's madness. Oh, that's cute. Oh my goodness, look what Alex just found out of the soft goods. That's amazing. Yes. Well, I've already cleaned out. Oh, that's hilarious. It's a rainbow poop emoji walking little toy. <laughs> um, I've already cleaned out my cart a little bit because I decided, Missy. You got a lot of stuff at the Watch Your Flea Market. Do you really want to hang on to this stuff? That stinking cute, adorable purse. Um, do you want to hang on to this stuff? No, no, I don't. So, I mean, I got some good things so far. A few good things. Alex found this and gave that to me. I love it. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to decide. Still, not doing too bad. All right, guys. Well, I have been here all day long. Um, it is 4.30 and I've been here since 10. But I've got some really good stuff. So let's go check out and see what our cart weighs. Okay, guys, my total is going to be $31 because I rounded up. So let's get into the haul. Okay, guys, we made it back from the Goodwill bins. And like I said, I only ended up spending $31. Um, my cart looked a little bit empty because at our glass, or I mean at our Goodwill bins, they do glass boxes for you. So if you find a lot of glass, um, they will do a $19.99 glass box for you. So that is really, really nice. Um, because today I found a lot of glass and it made my cart weigh quite a bit. So I decided I'm going to take everything that's glass out, put it in a box, pay a separate price, then weigh the rest of the stuff. So that's what I did and it was $31 total. So... Everything I am going to show you right now is in the glass box. Everything I'm going to show you first. So this is for my mother. She loves these. Um, they're kind of like the bubble glass frames, the metal frames made in Italy. Very, very pretty, nice. And so I picked this one up for her. It hangs on your wall. So that will be going to mom. Then I picked up this. I love, love, love this piece. It's still in this new, brand new in its box. It's a from Cracker Barrel. 
It is a Christmas piggy bank that is made to look like Christ. The vintage brand Christ. I absolutely love it. It is so kitschy, stinking cute, absolutely adorable, has a stopper, um, no chips or cracks. Like I said, it is brand new in its box. So this was a good find for me because I love it. I love kitschy stuff. So that was awesome. Then I picked up three little kitty cats. Well, these two are a pair. These two are a set. They're so stinking adorable with their um, little green eyes. And then this one, I couldn't find its mate. These ones are just figurines. This one is a shaker, but I couldn't find its mate. So I'm just going to pair it with these ones. I And it's got green eyes. I just think they're so adorable. So it's going to be in a family of three. So I thought those were cute. Oh, careful, Missy. I picked up this beautiful, beautiful art glass piece. Absolutely love art. You know me. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love my art glass. I like how it has the little pedestal vase right there and the colors, the white and the amber. Really perfect for um, the season. So I thought that was a really pretty piece of glass. Then I found this beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous glass fish. It, a bunch of things had stickers on it, price stickers on it. So I'm assuming it was from a garage sale or something. I don't really know. But I'm happy that I found it. I'll get it off later. But it is gorgeous. No chips or cracks. It is all glass. Very, very stunning. Look at the... The gold inside there, so, so, so beautiful. Love it. So that is a beautiful piece of art glass right there. Then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful bell. I usually don't pick up bells, but I picked this one up because, ta-da! It glows very, very, very nicely. Absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I love the pattern on there. And you can see it's got like the ring of fire, um, the iridescent base, how you can kind of see through it. It still has its dinger. I don't know if this is Fenton or not, but this is another one of the pieces that had a sticker on it. So I don't know if somebody was, if these were at somebody's sale. And it's got sticker residue. Oh my. You know how much I love that. So I picked up that bell. And then I picked up another piece that glows. This amazing, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Oh, isn't that stunning? And again, it had a price on it. Um, so yeah, this is amazing. This was a good, good. It was a good day for me at the Goodwill bins for sure. And then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful glass perfume bottle. I like picking up glass perfume bottles, especially if they're really pretty. This one's got a flat side right there, so it just sits on its side like a top. And it's got the glass stopper. It is taped in. Somebody taped it in, which is nice. Um, but there's no chips or cracks. Here, let me get the stopper out for you so I can show you. Really, really nice, beautiful glass perfume bottle. So I thought that was a lot of fun. It was a really good find. And then I picked up this beautiful, beautiful purple. Um, it's got like the oil slick, iridescent look, um, glass flower. And it doesn't really, it just glows purple. It doesn't really glow, but it's so pretty absolutely gorgeous i love the base there's no chips or cracks and it is a beautiful beautiful flower and it could be a vase you could use it as a vase because it goes all the way down so that's really really pretty i like the purple glass and then alex my dear dear good friend alex she found this and gave it to me absolutely gorgeous unfortunately this one does not glow well i mean sorta i guess 
sort of it does. I guess it does glow if you put it, um, yeah. Especially if you set it on a lighted base, then that'll light up. So that is super, super pretty and stunning. Absolutely love it. And this is a quite large one. Look, it's as big as my face. <laughs> oh, so that was a good one. And then I found beautiful, beautiful Westmoreland glass dish. Still got the sticker on it. I love the hand painted, the white glass, and then it's still got its Westmoreland sticker on the inside of it as well. So this was a really good find. So pretty. Love the design. And then I picked up this gal. She is the uh, kitchen prayer lady. Um, she doesn't sell for a whole lot, but with no chips or cracks and in really good condition, I stuck her in the glass box because, well, why not, right? I wanted to rescue her. So she's cute and pretty. And then I picked up this box because it said Christopher Radko on it. And when I opened it up and looked inside, it is two, not one, but there's two in here. Really pretty glass ornaments. So I thought those were really pretty. And yeah, so they were still in the box. Why not put them in my glass box? Some days I don't find hardly any glass at all. And to, but today was the exception. And so that was really exciting. So then that's why I decided to do the glass box. It makes more sense that way. Then I found this piece. Now, unfortunately it's missing its lid. It does not have its lid anymore, but it's an antique custard glass. It doesn't glow really. Let's see, but, um, it's still really, I mean, kind of it does, I guess. It kind of does when you put it on the inside, but when you shine it from the outside, not really, but when you put it on the inside, it does. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did another one with the price sticker on it. I didn't want to leave it behind just because it didn't have a lid because you could use it, you know, as a vase or anything like that. It is so pretty absolutely stunning and this doesn't have any chips or cracks just no lid and i don't know the maker of that either and then the last thing in the glass box was this mirror now what is cool about this mirror is let me get the sack here because i found the matching brush in the hard goods so yeah that's pretty cool this set a really, really nice vintage um, comb and brush set. Metal. I like it. Isn't that cool? I like the design. And then this also has a really nice design on it. And they're metal. So that was cool. Okay, now on to the sack. Then I found this. Really, really love this box. Look at the birds on there. Isn't it beautiful? Nice, nice detail all the way around. It's got all of its four little nubby feet. And then I will show you the inside. Very, very nice. Super, super cool. And then this one is, where did I see it? Signed. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, but it is signed right there by the artist. So that is cool. And then I found a really cool, awesome Cuisine Owl. Again, had a sticker on it. Um, probably came from the same lot, I would assume. But isn't that amazing? Look at the Cuisine detail on there. So pretty, so gorgeous. So that was a good find. I found this bottle opener. It's a cast iron bird, like a peacock or parrot or something. Um, yeah, and parrot, not peacock, Missy, duh. And it's a bottle opener, so that's really cool. 
a Tupperware measuring cup with the lid. Really, really, really good condition. So that was a good find. I picked up a set of three of these really cute, kitschy, um, cruel embroidered pictures. So these would be perfect for a gallery wall. So you're going to get the whole set of three of those. This I picked up for my mom because she loves old, old books like this. And this is a Laird and Lee's Webster New Standard Dictionary Elementary School Edition. So this is a really old, tiny little one. So that will be going to mom. I found this bank. Now this is different. Okay, so it, I guess I didn't screw it on there tight enough. Um, it's weird. Okay, so it comes apart in the middle. It unscrews right there, or right there rather. Um, but I'm gonna show you what it says. How in the heck did that happen here? Well, I don't know what just happened. I'm going to have to unscrew it again. But anyway, look what it says. It says, American Mission to Lepers. <laughs> American Mission to Lepers. So I've never seen such a thing. Um, I need to get it back together. But it unscrews right there. So that's how it goes. You get the money out. Never seen a bank like that. Thought it was different, so I picked it up. I picked up these um, handkerchiefs, hankies, new in the box, brand new hankies in the box, vintage. So cool. I always pick up hankies when I find them. Then I picked up this bag of calico critters and the furniture. I know a lot of people like these little flocked um, calico critters and then it's all the furniture with it it's got a whole bunch of different little characters in there so that was cool a whole bag i got a whole treasure bag full of stuff so i will quickly show you what's in there sorry the video is so long guys but i got a lot of cool stuff so i picked up this vintage pinocchio head He's plastic. I love him. This vintage baby rattle. Really stinking cute and kitschy. This neat piece. It's like a metal piece. I don't really know what it is, but it's got really cute kitty cats on there. See the kitty cats? The black kitty cats? Um, This lacquered owl. I thought that was nice. A vintage metal top. I like the cowboy with the horses on there. The graphics. And this really cute a wall hanging. It's a it's a bee. It's a plastic bee, so I thought that was cute. A beaded little clutch, little coin purse, little beaded coin purse. A brand new, the still in the package set of vintage coasters. I thought those were cute and kitschy. A little tiny wood gavel. A little vintage notebook. I like the image on the front with the sun. It's never been written in. It's got a calendar too. 1972. A little miniature pixie. This vintage ornament flocked with the bird on it and the clock. I thought that was cute. It says 1972 again on the back. This little vintage uh, leather thing. A vintage Hong Kong cow. It's stamped Hong Kong on the back. 
that little figurine type thing. I don't know. It's stamped something. A little Indian. Vintage Indian. A magnet. A vintage bracelet. The dwarfs. And two vintage snowmen. So all that will be going in the treasure bag. I thought that was pretty cool. That's going to be a good treasure bag. Okay, then Alex's mom found this. This is super cool. This is a vintage... Um, it has its stand, the base, and it turns... It's a clip-on earring holder. If, or you can use it for anything you want, but I'm assuming that's what it is. That's what it was made for, vintage clip-on earrings. Isn't that, and it spins. Isn't that so cool? Love that. I found a vintage dream pet. It's still got its tag right there. Really stinking cute, kitschy, adorable kitty cat. Red. Now I found a whole bunch of vintage dolls. A whole bunch of vintage dolls in one bin. Now, I will show you them. They're really old. So here's this one. This one, some of them still have their shoes taped, rubber band to them. But they are old, old dolls. This one. Ugh, this one's funny. I like her hands. Her hands seem so much bigger than the rest of her. <laughs> and her feet. She's got really big hands and feet. But she's fun. I love her. These are really old. And then this one. So I thought those were cool. I found them all in one bin. Oh, nope, there's one more in here. There's one more in here. This one is got a sticker and it says made in Poland on that sticker right there. So yeah, that's a pretty cool lot of old dolls. I found this really cute vintage um, wrapper purse. It's a little mini purse. Really good condition. Zipper still works great. I love these. They're so fun. Two vintage scarves. Really pretty ones. That one. And then this one. And they both still have their tags as well, so... I picked up some linens, a few embroidered linen pieces. This is really cute, this embroidered, and it's got the embroidered um, coasters on the inside of it, So I, and it hangs up. I thought that was cute. Three decks of vintage cards. Really, really cute, kitschy, fun cards. There's three decks of them. Let's see. Absolutely love those. Always pick those up when I find those. This really, really, really fun piece. It's a toy, and it's still in its box. Um, it is from the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus 1993, and I need to have Luke put batteries in it for me to see if it lights up still. I'm assuming it does because it was still in its box like brand new, but it does have, it does have a scratch right there on the back of it. It's just a scratch on the plastic, but these are so fun. And then when you put batteries in it, it's supposed to light up. So, see, it's supposed to light up in there. We will see. So fun. 
And then the last thing that I got was this set of tea towels. The whole set is complete um, Monday through Sunday, and they are all embroidered. These are amazing, you guys. I'm so excited that Alex found these. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Awesome, awesome, awesome haul. I was so, so, so excited um, to find all these fun treasures, you guys. I think I did absolutely amazing for only spending $31. What do you guys think? Um, how do you think I did this time out of the Goodwill bins? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And I can let you know if it will be available in a live sale or if I'm willing to sell it outright. Most everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you subscribe and hit that bell button right now, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Um, and Because every once in a while I'll have pop-up live sales throughout the week. Um, and if you are subscribed, you'll get a notification and you don't want to miss them because they are a lot of fun. Like this week, I will be having an extra sale on Monday evening as well. So I will be doing going live Sunday and Monday this week because I've got so much fun vintage treasures for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.